the book view and the field view in sociology the book view of sociology in india was excessively in favor of projecting the view from above to counter this the field view would have been greatly helpful if executed with care but that was not to be almost all field studies in sociology and social anthropology until recently were undertaken from the perspective of twice born middle class hindus for example there is hardly any study of a village a much celebrated theme in indian sociology which views the village reality from the perspective of a cheri maharwada or chamar mohalla in field studies as in texts those below the pollution line are designated as chandals lachals exterior castes untouchables etc if they are referred to at all even designations such as scheduled castes preferred by the state and harijan coined by narasin mehta and propagated by mk gandhi are not acceptable that is the very labeling of these categories has been debilitating and stigmatizing the compelling need for a view from below will have to be situated in this context it is important to note that the bottom layer of indian society itself is no more uniform and homogeneous the upwardly mobile urban educated dalit elite are qualitatively different from the cumulatively dominated rural illiterate economically stagnant dalits the urban dalit elite should not be allowed to endanger the cause and interests of the cumulatively oppressed rural dalits the perspective from below is the epistemological privilege of the cumulatively oppressed those who are incorporated into the establishment often get this embedded from their roots it is a time to indicate the theoretical foundation of the approach designated as the perspective from below there has been a cognitive blackout in indian social science as far as knowledge regarding the life world experiences of dalit bahujans is concerned the fact that the lifestyles of upper castes and dalit bahujans vary dramatically in terms of food habits worship patterns gender relations is tacitly acknowledged but instead of recognizing these variations and explaining why they exist the dominant tendency in indian sociology has been to suggest that the dalit bahujans are abandoning their way of life in favor of the lifestyle of caste hindus this is what sanskritization is all about in this perspective not only are the norms and values of caste hindus privileged but they are also christened as norm setters and value givers for society as a whole the norms and values of dalit bahujans are knocked out ignored stigmatized and delegitimized the field view has made indian sociology more authentic as compared to the book view but its authenticity has been largely partial to correct this imbalance we need the perspective from below thank you for watching the presentation do like subscribe share and leave your comments about this presentation or any other topics you would like to learn more about